Are you Owen? I am Owen. There is... Yeah. Alright, step out. I don't want to... You have to a minute. Come out. Would you... No, no. Yeah, yeah, do you come mind out. I have... Don't, please yeah, don't... Yeah, come out. I want you to come out. Can you... Exp yeah, come out. Before restraining I'm me. I'm not going to restrain you. Just come out a minute. Alright? Just stand here a minute. Right, what's happened? She's done a self then. Right. She tried killing herself three, five, Where nine, is she at the minute? I had to put her in my bed. You had to what? Put her on the bed? Well, yeah. She's uh, in love. Okay, put the phone down. At the moment, I don't know what's happened. Alright, so I'm arresting on suspicion oh, of, of murder. Oh, please. Alright. What? Here you go in. Give us a hand. Give us a hand. I was supposed to be going to... Don't drop your phone. I'm not going to. I was supposed to be going to go and get some backy because yep. you guys were coming well, over. Um, apparently now he's, like, messing me about. I'm sorry, the police are... No, you can put the phone down. The police are here. Alright, thank you very much. Oh, okay. Next to the car. Oh. I must caution you. Don't have to say anything, but harm and defence, not mention questions, something which you may later rely on in court. And to do some maybe given evidence. Alright? Owen Pello was a 43-year-old Englishman who resided in Barrow Road, Burnham-on-Sea, United Kingdom. He lived in an apartment which he shared with his girlfriend, 36-year-old Lisa Marie Thornton. Pello and Thornton had a volatile relationship. They had a son together in 2016, who they later put up for adoption. Pello had reported prior that Thornton had a history of drug and alcohol abuse, also threatening to cut her own throat on some occasions. On the 23rd of November, 2017, Pello called the police at 7 a.m., claiming that his girlfriend, Thornton, had stabbed herself multiple times as a suicide attempt. Upon receiving this call, police officers found Thornton laying on a mattress in an extremely messy room, wearing a heavily blood-stained cardigan. A knife was found on top of a kilt near her hip, which was then seized by police. She had no pulse. Multiple interviews with Pello conducted by the police revealed that Pello claimed he had put Thornton on the bed, describing her as, quote-unquote, my love. Pello said that they had been laying in bed watching films when he went downstairs to use the toilet and tried to roll a cigarette. He then claimed he saw Thornton stabbing herself multiple times in the chest, where he then claimed that he removed the knife from her reach. After a five-day trial at Bristol Crown Court, where Pello claimed the harm was self-inflicted, the jury of eight women and four men saw through his lies and convicted him. The jury based his conviction primarily due to a pathologist claiming that the injuries were not self-inflicted, and a post-mortem examination revealed she died after being stabbed 39 times in the neck, back, and chest. It took the jury less than two hours to find Pello guilty of murder. Next to this, it was also proven that Pello had an obsession with knives, owning a collection of over 200 blades. During the hours before the murder of Lisa Marie Thornton, Pello consumed six bottles of cider and a bottle of scotch whiskey. Thornton was facing away from Pello when he attacked her explaining why there were no defensive wounds. Pello was sentenced to life in prison with a minimum term of 17 years. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this case. Any comments, tips, even hate is appreciated. As a new channel, any kind of feedback is extremely motivating. Thank you again and until next time.